Hello, boys and girls. Here's another storybook, and this book is called Be Quiet. It's the story of Rupert the Mouse, and Rupert wants to make a book with no words. Remember how much fun you like the book that has no pictures? Well, Rupert wants a book with no words, but he's got two friends, and his friends love to talk. So let's see if he's able to do his book. Here's Rupert, and he's out in the woods, and he says, Finally, I get my very own book to star in. This is going to be great. I'm going to make a wordless book. They are very artistic. This book will have no words at all starting now. Rupert the Mouse Presents Be Quiet by Ryan T. Higgins. Hmm. Well, starting now. Along comes his friend. Hi, Rupert. What are... Shh! Shh! Be quiet. This book does not have words in it. Wow-wee! A wordless book? Can I help? Oops, I'm, I'm, I'm talking. I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about talking. Stop. The book already started. You're messing it up. Uh, uh, please, please let me stay in the book. I promise to be quiet. I'll be extra wordless. Please. I said be quiet. This book is wordless. Wordless, without words. Now here comes his other friend. Hey, guys, what's with all the shouting? Hi, Thistle. We're making a wordless book, but I've promised to be quiet, so I can't tell you about it. Poor Rupert. He is not very happy. A wordless book? I love those. They're very artistic. Can I be in it? Yes, but we won't tell Rupert since we're not supposed to be talking. I told you to be quiet. You're putting too many words in my book. So poor Rupert is not very happy, is he? Yay, this book is going to be so much fun. Quiet, quiet you. This book will be more than fun. It will be visually stimulating. It means that the eyes will love it. What does vishery strigulating mean? I think it means we're going to poke our readers in the eyeballs with pictures. That's not what it means, said Rupert. It means we need to have strong illustrations. So here's Rupert trying to explain to them. Like this. Arr! Look, we're helping. No, you're not. Be quiet. This book is wordless. Rupert is right. What this book needs is some strong but silent types. Hmm. Strong but silent.
What about him? He's strong. He's silent. Every book needs a bear in it. Uh, I don't know. He looks grumpy. What about something cuter? And look at the kitty cats. What about a kitten? Kittens are super cute and friendly. Ah, look at the cute little nose and whiskers. and its beautiful big eyes and shiny teeth. Nibs, I think it's getting a little too friendly. Quick, quick, think of something vegetarian. You know what vegetarian means, boys and girls? Not meat, not animal. A cucumber. We'll just draw a smile on it and add some googly eyes. <clears throat> Look at their cucumber. And there we have it, a vegetarian. Nibs, what exactly do you think a vegetarian is? Stop filling my brilliant piece of wordless literature with your nonsense and stop talking. You're not taking this seriously. And poor R Rupert, he's having a hard time. Is this more serious? No, I'm Vincent Van Moose. No, Van Van Mouse. And that's about a famous picture by Vincent Van Gogh. What are you supposed to be, a president? I don't think everyone will get that. Can you try something a little bit simpler? We're simple. We're potatoes. Stop talking and stop changing the pictures around. I don't even like potatoes. Rupert is right. No more artistic stuff. Wordless books need action. We should have a silent superhero instead. We'll call him um, Captain Quiet, and he could fight words. And here they've got Captain Quiet, vocabulary vigilante. And look at what he's doing. He's going, pow, pum, blam, kaboom. No, 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 no superheroes, no automatopoeia either. I think Rupert just said, I'm a gonna pee. Uh, what do you think that means? I think it means he should have gone to the bathroom before the book started. What about mimes? Mimes are extra quiet. Well, guess what I'm miming? Let's see, is it a cheese sandwich that thinks it's a hummingbird with a lettuce sweater? Don't you know what be quiet means? It means don't make a sound. Right, it's like that saying about a tree falling in the woods. How's it go? Nibs, can you help? 
I'm on it. Oh, poor Rupert. He is so upset with his friends. It goes something like, if a tree falls on someone who isn't listening in the woods, no, that's not right. That's not it. Timber! That's a word they say sometimes when the tree is falling down. Ah! Did the tree make a sound? It was hard to tell with all of Rupert's shouting. Should we try it again? <coughs> Enough. I have had it. All you two do is talk, talk, talk. I can't stand it. Can't you be quiet for just one page? I try to do one thing, make a wordless book, and you two have to go and ruin it. You have filled this book with words. No one is going to want to read a wordless book that is filled with words. Why can't you do a simple thing, like not say anything? Is it that hard? I am quiet. I'm not saying anything. But no, you two just keep talking and 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 talking. What? That's the end of the story. Those of you who know the storybook, a book without pictures, will have to decide if you like a book without words or a book without pictures, the, which one you like better. I think I probably know what most of you would say. I'll see you in the next storybook.